Guys, it smells amazing out here. Oh, I love the Christmas smell. Me too. Good morning. What are you up to? Headstanding. Your headstanding? So if you eat so if you eat food upside down, it drops out of your mouth and out to try that. So you're doing a headstand and you want to eat while you're doing a headstand? Yeah. And see what happens. <laughs> if it stays in my mouth or drops. That sounds like an interesting experiment. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Here you go. Let's see what happens. Laura, don't try to feed him. <laughs> you trying to feed him some more? Does it work? Could you swallow? Uh huh. <laughs> mm. That's a fun. Let's see what happens this time. A fun part falls out. Let's see. <laughs> Laura's intrigued. Uh oh, I know what Laura's thinking. <laughs> it works for Miss Laura. <laughs> it didn't fall out. It didn't fall out? Were you able to swallow? Yep. Wow. Let's try it with me. You want to try it, Lisey? All right, well, we are just hanging out, eating upside down this morning. Should we eat all our food upside down? Yes. We should have dinner upside down tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to keep on chewing or it goes up your nose. Oh, good to know. It's so nice to have Jeremy home. Holidays this, are great. Yeah, it's like a bonus Saturday. Bonus weekend day. <laughs> <laughs> Is Daddy funny? Yeah. <laughs> this is the crunch. The crunch who stole Christmas. So Kendra has all of the Christmas books lined up right here. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. We're sneaking in a little bit of school this afternoon. And the boys are doing their schoolwork by the fire. Caleb's working on the letter E. And Isaac's doing some reading. So Caleb wanted to help me with the potatoes. I honestly didn't think he was going to be able to cut it at all with that knife. Dude, you've cut it. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> Caleb was really sad when we were done cutting the potatoes. He wanted to do more work with me. So we found something for him to do. Alright, I think that one's clean. Let's stick it in here. Alright, so we are headed out this afternoon to get a Christmas tree. We like to get live Christmas trees and every year we go up to the Christmas tree farm and we chop down our own Christmas tree and it's just like one of my favorite memories. But today the weather is terrible here. It's like 30 degrees out and there's like freezing rain so the roads aren't awesome for driving far and it would be really miserable to be out there with all the kids. But if you want to see us doing that, you can check out our video from last year and we're going to go pick out a Christmas tree. We are headed to Lowe's. Sure, I'll hold you. She's trying to help him in. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. You're a helper. 
Do you guys like real Christmas trees or artificial Christmas trees? I think there's a lot of perks to having an artificial tree. I mean, the pre-lit feature is amazing, but then you do have to store it, but you don't have to buy it every year. Um, I love the smell of real trees and the nostalgia of choosing a different tree every year. So anyway, let us know in the comments below which one you prefer. How do they grow fake trees? Because I know they don't grow them, but how do they make them? It's a good question. So since we moved the kids' rooms around, I'm daydreaming about decorating. I'm not gonna be able to have time to decorate until the new year, but I would love to paint the girls' room and paint the boys' room and just like get them really set up as bedrooms. So Lisey, what kind of paint do you think we should do? Mm, purple. This one or this one? So these are the ones that Isaac wants for his room. Mostly this one. Mostly the blue. And Lacey, which color? This one. You want dark purple on your walls. Maybe I could just go with pink, light pink, A or light maybe pink. dark. No, red. So Lots of good ideas. Let's go look at the pinks. So I don't know if we had mentioned it, but when our microwave broke, it was like a week ago, we did a bunch of research to try to figure out how much it would cost to repair it. And between parts and work, it was going to cost almost as much as a brand new microwave. Like literally there was like a $20 difference. So, and there was a chance that we could do all that and it still wouldn't work. So that's why we decided to buy a new microwave. This is amazing. It's a dual door oven, so you can open it and have a whole oven. Nice. Or you can squeeze this lever and open just here and only cook with that oven. That's crazy. Isn't that awesome? I've always thought having one of those skinny ovens would be cool. Just because so often I don't need to heat my old oven, I just need like a small amount of space. So we're trying to make sure that the microwave that we get is going to fit the exact dimensions of the cabinet space that's above our oven. So Jeremy's checking out specs on his phone. Coolest ride ever. Lisey's holding Laura, so they're safe on there. And I'm like right here. All right, we're gonna go get a Christmas tree. Yeah! 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 Well, the trees are all frozen, which we're gonna have to like dethought before we put it inside. It's true. Guys, it smells amazing out here. Oh, I love the Christmas smell. Me too. Mmm. Mm. Hey, it's prickly. It is prickly. And it's so cold. This is our tree. I think we found it. Yeah. And we're cold. <laughs> we're ready to go. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Did this we find is, it? This one is perfect but it's cold it's covered in ice <laughs> Caleb like reached up and broke a branch off We're like, like wait a minute don't do that buddy off. there it is we're hoping it's gonna look good <laughs> once it thaws <laughs> yeah. all right is it secure yeah it's good hopefully it stays up there let's see so a big part of Thanksgiving is leftovers. I love leftovers. It's been hard the last couple of years because we only take half of the Thanksgiving dinner and so we haven't had a lot of leftovers. And so I feel like I outsmarted the system this year. I bought a rotisserie chicken and made some mashed potatoes of our own so that we could have some leftovers. My family growing up, we would do like turkey sandwiches with a lot of mustard. Really? It sounds really weird, but my dad was like a lover of mustard and they were good. It would be like cold turkey mustard. In my family growing up, my mom made a casserole where she would put like stuffing and then like layer it. So there'd be stuffing and then turkey and then some gravy and then mashed potatoes on top and she'd bake it like that. And it was really, really good. good. So what do you guys do with your leftovers? Let us know in the comments below. And that's going to be it for today. We're so grateful you watched and we hope to see you tomorrow. Jay has out. Everybody's mouth is full. Jay has out. And Selena. And we're thankful for each, each other. <laughs> and everybody's gonna say the three things that they're most thankful for. Okay? One, two, three. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, this is the grateful raspberry dessert.